Tonight, we're asking just what happened inside Williamsport Area High School. This morning, we witnessed dozens of police officers responding to the school, and parents told us a SWAT team was in place. And those anxious parents were kept back far away from the school. Now, police have arrested and charged two people on what students described as a lunchtime melee. Good evening, I'm Drew Spire. And I'm Candace Kelly. Several incidents brought police to Williams Williamsport Area High School today. They got everything under control, but SWAT team's down there. Parents and students set the scene and told us it was absolute chaos. Our Joe Holden has been following the developments tonight. Joe, what is the very latest on the story? Kenneth and Drew and school officials at Williamsport area termed today's events minor altercations and more altercations. But students claim they witnessed a brawl, a small riot between a group of students. Police say... They had to use pepper spray to subdue at least one man inside the school. Police have charged him and another with riot-related counts. It's unclear if there are even students. Who's serving and protecting our children? Damn. Police set up an apparent perimeter around Williamsport Area High School. Dozens of officers and SWAT rushed onto the property just after 12 noon. There wasn't a stabbing up there this morning? No, ma'am, no. No stabbing. No, There's no, no one... We're not shot either. No one is hurt. Everybody is okay. Court records obtained by Eyewitness News show five men entered the school's cafeteria. They were stopped by police, at which time arrest papers claim a 19-year-old Daffier Grays and an 18-year-old Kumar Moore got into a scuffle with police. Uh, the areas in the high school were secured. Uh, students were sent back to their various rooms uh, where they were told to stay uh, until uh, the disruptive influence could be neutralized. Williamsport Police Captain Raymond Kantz was allegedly punched in the head and kicked. It was chaotic in there. We were on like lockdown. We couldn't go from class to class. School administrators disputed wide reported claims it ever actually went into lockdown mode. Uh, we did have a perimeter lockdown today at uh, four of our buildings, uh, but that was uh, due to what we believe is an unrelated incident uh, in the community. However, some four hours after that reported unrelated incident, parents of students were kept back as reports of violence came from inside the school. A number of parents arrived at the school to pick up their children based on erroneous information sent out by various non-official sources. The stopping at the bottom of the hill was to organize parents so we could release the parents who wanted their children in a very orderly manner. Now again, the school district is reporting five students were taken out, but police really aren't commenting on any of that part of the investigation. And school leaders claim the day then resumed after those students were taken out, despite a heavy police presence all over the school property. Tonight, police do comment that the investigation into the use of force is well underway tonight. Drew and Candace, just a strange story. The picture seemed to portray a, a much bigger deal than the mm -hmm. school was making. Of course, though, a couple investigations uh, still have to be released into this matter. Certainly some questions still need to be answered with regard to what happened today. We're here to ask them. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you, Joe. You, Joe.